what is good my friends welcome back so today i'm going to be upgrading the storage on the asus a15 or asus tough a15 2023 model and basically all i need is this a ikea family card okay any card will do and a crosshead screwdriver These are all the same. We got another corner screw. This one is no problem. This is a smaller one. So I'm going along the front side, seems to be working. We created quite a gap here, but you can see, just going along the front side. Maybe if we do this corner, a little bit of space in there. see you on this side let's see how much space we have in here I still don't understand why they seal these things just so securely there we go so you really want to do this at the front side Let's wiggle it open a little bit. There we go, it's open. And here we have the SSD, which we are going to install. Over here we have the RAM. It's all there with stickers. Over here we have more SSD. We're going to be installing. We're going to use it be using this slot. So we'll just put this back in place. A lot of heat pipes. That's the hinge. I still don't understand why they only put like 500 and 12 gigabytes of storage in here. So I'll put a link to the storage I have. It is currently over here on sale. So you can get one very, very cheap. All right, so let's loosen the screw up. Just needed a bit smaller screwdriver for that. There we go. It's in there, not standing up. And I'm just gonna use the screwdriver to get it in place. If you wanna push it down, put the very tiny screw into place. Screw it down, don't secure it too tight. We 
you start to feel a little bit of resistance, it's good. So that's basically the upgrade. I think I just threw a screw in there. Oh, we got an extra screw. So this is the bottom panel. No, I could check out if everything works, but it always works. So we're just gonna close the lid. You could like put on the lid, start it up, see if it recognizes it, but I'm pretty confident I've done a good job. And the final screw. So once you have everything installed, you wanna go to format a volume and it's going to recognize it initialize and partition table initialize create a volume and we're going to use it uh, game storage file system like that format and it should be done in a second. Let's see, now we have an extra one terabyte storage for all of our games. That's pretty much how you do it. It's that easy. You just unscrew a few screws. It's the same for uh, RAM. It's just so easy, just do it like that. So go to format a disk or format a volume and just Follow the steps like I did and you're good to go. You have extra terabyte for maybe $50. It's very cheap. So good luck with that. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.